Okay, so today we will talk about what do you mean by startup or rather what is startup, how it is defined as such because many a times you would have heard this word here and there but today in this lecture you will get clear understanding about what is that entity or organization called startup. So before we move on, I think you would have seen all these organizations, Google, Uber, Amazon, Redbus, Flipkart, Paytm, all of this looks like a big giant today. But let me tell you one thing, all of these companies that looks like a big giant today were startup at one point of time in past. They have all started either by one, two or more founders hardly in a garages with a two chairs, one table and lot of passion within themselves to make a difference. Now, let's see how this comes out as a big company as on date. How did it start? Let us take example of one such company of Redbus. Uh, the guy that you see on screen is Faninder Sama on the right hand side. You know the story is like this. I hope you know what is Redbus at this moment. He was working in a company, he's an electronics engineer and was working in a company in Bangalore. And during Diwali break, he want to go to his hometown for enjoying Diwali break. But unfortunately, he could not find a bus ticket a day before Diwali break that started in his hometown. Now what happened was he went to one, two, three, four and nine bus operators and find out the bus ticket because normally in India we know that because of Diwali break, most of the employees would travel from their uh, in the place of employment to uh, their hometowns. Now, because he could not find ticket moving around nine bus operators, he was very frustrated and he could not go to his hometown for a Diwali break. And that is the point where he realized that in entire Bangalore, there are multiple bus operators. But because of uh, time, if he would have given a little bit more tried, if he would have tried a little bit more, he could have got that one vacant seat which was available somewhere else uh, in, 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 in an XYZ bus operator. So he thought an idea that how about a digital system where even if there was one ticket available from Bangalore to his hometown in the rarest of the rarest bus operator, he could have find that and he could have easily gone to that operator and book the ticket. That's where the idea came out. So it, during entire break, he worked on this problem which he himself faced and thought that nobody else should face the same problem. And he straight away called his couple of friends uh, uh, who at that time was a computer science background and say let us build some system over it and that's where Redbus started and today you know what Redbus is, a giant company, right? And uh, so this is a story of a typical startup. See, it started with a problem that a founder himself has faced and he realized that there is a gap, that is something which innovative could be introduced into the market which can make the life of people easy in one way or the other way. So let me tell you what is startup. Startup is basically a young company, a very young company founded by either two or more founders. And the ultimate vision of this company is development of innovative product or services and bring those service and product to the market so that it creates value for the users. On the other hand, you can also say a startup is a company that is initiated by its founders around some idea or some problem with the potential of significant business opportunity or an impact. And many a time startup is also referred as young company which is in search of a repeatable and scalable business model. So you are trying to develop something which has not been existed in the world. Now with this normally what happens is most of the people uh, assumes that it is something with to do with invention or you need to create invention altogether out of it. It will require a lot of research and you should be very technically sound. It's not like that. I would say startup in today's world. Uh, is if you want to develop innovative product and services, innovation, if you want to work on innovation, what you need is you try to identify unsolved problem and try to solve that problem with the existing technology. That is what startup is. When Faninder Sama started Redbus, the mobile application was not uh, the new thing at that point of time. But what he did, he tried to identify an unsolved problem where there were no bus operator on a single digital platform and then he used the mobile app technology or a digital platform technology uh, to solve the problem of identifying the uh, ticket which is available, right? So if you are focusing on building startup, I think it should not be like uh, you need to do a lot of in invention or you should be a very hardcore researcher or kind of thing. But more importantly, you should identify the problem 
and how can you solve that using excellent technology and if you can make money out of if you can make the model commercial i think that is where you need to uh, start you can say yourself that you can jump into the field of startup now as per government of india how is startup defined so i'll say the company any young company is called a startup as per government of india if it satisfies the below mentioned criteria and there are five criteria which government of india the startup india initiative uh, under dpiit and ministry of commerce and uh, uh, you know corporate ministry of corporate affairs have defined so the very first criteria for a company uh, to be called a startup is company type the company registered should have either of the three forms either the legal entity should be a private limited company or it should be a registered partnership firm or it should be a limited liability partnership so llp so if you have a company in any of these three format then you your company can be have a, has a chance to called a startup if it satisfies another four conditions what is second condition company age the period of existence and operation should not be exceeding 10 years from the date of incorporation so if you have incorporated a company and at the time of evaluation if the company has not crossed 10 years of its existence from the date of incorporation you can still be eligible to call a startup provided you have satisfied other condition the third condition is company should not have an annual turnover not exceeding 100 crore rupees for any of the financial year since its incorporation which means from the time of company being incorporated in any of this years in any of the finance in any of the one financial year your turnover should not exceed 100 crores then innovative and scalable the company should work towards development and improve or improvement of a product process service and or or having scalable business model with an high potential of creation wealth and employment now this is a very uh, very important point to pick over here normally the other three conditions will be satisfied for any of the companies which you register but the company can only be called a startup if it if 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 it is involved in development of innovative product solution or else it has a scalable model which has a potential of creating wealth high wealth and employment opportunities for the country and the fifth condition is it should be an original entity which means the company or entity should not have been formed by either splitting up the uh, existing entity or by reconstructing of an already existing business model or existing business so these are the five conditions and if any of the company satisfies the five condition as per government of india that company is called as startup now let us let me define some of the success stories which i have closely work with some of the founders which will help you to understand which kind of company is called startup and what as a startup what are you supposed to do this is uh, the, the the picture that you see uh, is yogesh and ajankya and they have launched their product through the hands of honorable chief minister of gujarat shri bhupendra patel ji the product that you see is a portable pocket size ecg machine now they have identified this gap uh, when you see ecg machine it was the conventional ecg machine is a very huge size it can it is not handy as such and it is only available at some of the multi specialty hospitals and not with opd centers normally particularly in rural area it is not available now this is the device which is very handy uh a healthcare person can go to the patient's house with this kit can uh, use this pocket size ecg machine to do an ecg report of a patient can this device can be connected to a mobile phone via bluetooth and the report that you generate of ecg is the pdf file and this pdf file can then be shared with any doctor uh, either what through whatsapp or through email or whatever it may be and you can easily take out the print of this pdf file to understand this report now this innovation has open up a huge opportunity for uh, improvement in rural healthcare sectors wherein rural healthcare people can be given this device and then uh, the ecg report can be sent from rural rural area to the urban area to doctor sitting in the urban area and they have also won several awards uh, through the hands of uh, chief innovation officer of india then governor of maharashtra for this innovation and today they are selling this product to more than seven countries and uh, the product gives good results so this is one innovation product now second is very good story like uh, another startup is yield pro earth private limited and you see on the screen the the person on the right hand side is uh, ram mehta the son of uh, the person in left hand side is samir mehta now samir mehta already has this company of tar, uh, turpoil uh, you know industrial grade turpoil and plastics like 
and we were discussing like uh, the ram was thinking about to build something innovative product which uh, using the existing facility which his father has and he identified a gap wherein in rural india the farmers who are transporting water from one place to other place in the farm field they are using conventional tranches to transport the water now in tranches what happens is a lot of water is being wasted even before reaching to the crop field so he has normally the solution of that would be uh, uh, you know the 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 plus the the hdp pipes basically now these guys have developed a very flexible pipes a low cost flexible pipes which can which can be used to carry water from one place to other place and also this can also be used to water the entire crop field and they have also created attachments for that and you know the difference in cost the conventional cost let's say for one acre land the conventional pipe was costing them around 1 lakh rupees this piping system that they have created is costing only 1400 rupees for the farmers it is very very affordable now they are also filing more than 15 patents on this particular innovation for different uh, uh, you know uh, dimensions and the products that they have um, so this is the innovation see they had an existing facility they used it for a different purpose and solving the unmet need so now farmers got an, a, a cheaper solution uh, that to a very flexible one and they can use this pipes on their uh, on their wheel and which is very handy as such compared to the hard pipes another success story uh, this is a uh, student called vraj and they both of them are second year student at the moment they started their startup in the first year you will not believe vraj was very passionate about developing uh, uh, you know uh, solutions for home automation and and making it accessible for the average or middle class family normally in india the home automation is thought to be for people who are upper middle class or uh, higher class families right because using home automation itself requires for entire house if you do 2 bhk or 3 bhk house it requires more than 1 lakh and 1.5 lakh rupees for the uh, you know home automation now these guys have developed a controller a pen drive sized controller which can be used in the existing uh, wiring itself and can then turn your entire uh, uh, house into an a smart one which can which means you can access all your electronic gadgets like tv uh, acs light fans through mobile application through remote control or, or, or else through google dots or alexa and they're also giving alexa now you see the cheaper point i mean they have came down to the cost like they are doing home automation for entire 2 bhk house at just 15000 rupees indian rupees and that too they are offering alexa in that and so you can imagine uh, keeping the profit margin giving alexa and still they are profitable what is the uh, size of uh, cost that they would have came across with so and today they are earning a very good amount of money in second year they have hired four more people who are the seniors very inspirational story for most of the students so i think see if you are also planning to be one of those people who want to start their own startup more importantly is you have to identify an area where you think something can be improved and that improvement can not necessarily to be made all together a new invention you can use the existing technology to develop that to solve that problem and that is how you can commercialize the entire product or service spectrum and then you build startup over it so i think in this lecture you might have got some understanding about what is called startup and how government of india defines startup and if you are thinking of building one startup on your own what you should go about and do with this i end the session over here thank you so much wish you all the best